What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to part two of our fantastic Core Set 2020 set review. And we're going to look at all the mana costs of this set. And If you um, don't know what that means, you didn't watch part the one, entire and part here. one, and you should just go and, back to the end. And we're going to review the red, the green, and then the artifact land and gold cards, which are which are short. So, uh, First card, active treason assist. Uh, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it. We all know what active treason does. It, sometimes it has a home, sometimes it doesn't. It's not super overpowered. It's... It never has a home. Okay, well, that's sad. Are we done? We're good? Passa. Cavalier of Flame. Red a Cavalier flamacist. right out of the... God, <laughs> amazing. 6-5 five for 5. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that rate? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't look at you. Okay, 6-5 five for 5. Sounds good. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, oh, and gain haste until end of turn, so it can get... <laughs> So this can gain haste for itself for if you have seven mana. Oh, so seven mana, six, five haste. Right, but I'm just saying, look, you're going to play it on turn five, but if it's a late game and you top deck this, giving it haste is not bad. Uh, when it enters yeah. the battlefield, draw, discard a number of cards and draw that many cards so you can get rid of any lands you have or any excess cards that just don't do anything. Uh, when it dies, it deals X damage to each opponent and each Planeswalker where X is the number of lands in your graveyard. Each opponent and each Planeswalker they control, that's not bad. This card sucks. One thing is that it, it is when it dies. So, like, if they bounce it with Teferi, you get no benefit. Or they exile it with yeah. Teferi. Then you're getting no... Or they exile it with Teferi. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean... That's the thing. I don't know. This card, again, it doesn't seem bad. Like, it's doing a lot of things. It's cool art. I just want to make sure that it's doing it well, right? Like... The horse just ate some Taco Bell. It also just pumps your team. Like, it's just... Two mana to give all your creatures plus one, plus zero oh is great. Yeah. You can go raise the alarm and give them haste and if plus there's one a plus big, zero, If there's like a big red deck, I could see that. Like there are big red decks that that come in. You know what I mean? Like if you have a if you have a, a chain whirler that's getting pumped, like that's legitimate. Chandra Acolyte of Flame, four loyalty for a three mana planeswalker. Zero, put a loyalty counter on each red planeswalker you control. So she's she, so it's basically plus one. It should it could even say plus one, put a loyalty counter on each other red planeswalker you control. Right? Like that's just a different way to word it. it does the same thing functionally. Zero mana. Create two one one red elemental creature tokens. They gain haste. Wait, wait, wait. Re say what you just said. They couldn't say it how. Plus one. Put a loyalty counter on each other red planeswalker you control. Why would they say that? Isn't that the same thing? No, she puts a counter on herself. Correct. Which is why the ability would be a plus one, not a zero. Oh, plus one. You're okay. Yeah, I missed that. My bad. Zero looks better. Create two one one red elemental creature tokens. Water Sports Drew, thank you so much for the buddy. Really appreciate it. Again, I don't know why the volume isn't working, but... Thank you! It's kind of frustrating. Oh, 25 months! You got the cuss the swear badge. Once you get 24 months, you can use cuss words in chat. Let me see if I can... No, no, you can't. You can't do that. I do it all the time. Okay, create two 1-1 red elemental tokens. They gain haste, sacrifice, and so you're making two 1-1s. This is just worse than Chandra. That makes... Two three ones, but I, I don't think that's two one ones. Just doesn't do anything. No, but her her neg two is neg two. You may good. cast target instant or sorcery card with mana cost three or less from your graveyard. If that card would be yeah, so that's pretty good. It's basically just like snapcaster range, right? This card's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think the, the it really doesn't do much. Right, the first zero doesn't do much. It's a din do nothing. The second zero is kind of unexciting, and the it's third a din, one din do. Wait a minute. It Wait a minute. One one element. Oh, they gain haste. Oh, but you know what? Isn't there? I don't want to discuss cards we haven't spoiled. Pass. Chandra awakened in front of this the <gasps> mythic version. This card is great. Six mana for a six loyalty planeswalker. Can't be countered, which is pretty scary. Lost it. Uh, each opponent gets an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep. This emblem deals That's two so damage. So good. That's an insane. Like she goes up to eight, and you, like you just have this game-ending emblem. You have to murder this lady right away. I said that purely for the for the chat value. Well. Negative three deals three damage to, target to each non-elemental creature. So she just neg threes to wipe the board to sweltering suns or what have you. Yep. Negative X, Chandra Awakened Inferno deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. If a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile it instead. This card is dumb. The, you All can, three of the abilities are If great. you plus this card once, which obviously you will, it's it has a lasting effect on the game. If you allow them to untap and plus it again, you basically just are losing the game unless the red player is at like five life and you're 
I mean, this is... I thought she was a promo only. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think she's in PAX. Oh, she's not in PAX? I don't think she is. I thought she was some sort of special card, too. One of them is. I mean, she's she's card number 127 out of 280. Usually that's not the case with... She is in Boosters? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. One of one of them is a promo. One of them has some, is some sort of promo. I'll look it up while you do the next one. Chandra is also going for only 12 bucks. That's surprising. Really good. Chandra Novice Pyromancer, the uncommon Chandra. Four mana for a five loyalty planeswalker. Plus one elementals you control get plus two plus oh. Okay, that could be a blank. Negative one, add two red, which is not bad. Mm. Negative two uh, deals two damage to any target. This is not this is not bad. That's all right. Two shocks and uh and a two shocks for four? Two shocks and a desperate ritual for four is not terrible. It's better than a desperate ritual. And it's also a planeswalker, it sits on the board, you can plus it a couple times, whatever. It's not bad. I mean, it's good for an uncommon We need to look up, sure. um, after we get through this, you know, when we talk later, we can look up how many elementals there are in red. Chandra Embercat. Here's an elemental. Two mana for a 2-2. Two, two. That's actually a great rate for red card. Jeez. Uh, add red. Spend this mana only to cast an elemental spell or a Chandra Planeswalker spell. Shit. Oh, two mana 2-2 two, two for a red card's good? For, for a red card, yes. Oh. Red cards are typically two ones. Have you not met your lord and savior of Pharaoh Maka? The common? I know. So, yeah, this card's fine. I mean... It's fine. It's crap. It's a ramp spell for an elemental or a Chandra deck. Like, I mean... Mm. Chandra's Outrage. This is good stuff, dude. <laughs> that's, that's This one's real good. Chandra's Outrage is four damage to target creature, two damage to target creature's controller. So, like, this is just... this. We've seen this before. Yeah. Um, still... Meh. Four mana is a lot. It's great and limited. Regulators. Mount up. Mount up. It will look on the... <laughs> Uh, all right, whenever you activate a loyalty ability with Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one if you do copy that ability. So, like, you just make an emblem, and then you're like, I'll make you two emblems. Oh, my God. Like, they just die so quickly. You may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, one in a tap discard a mountain card or a red card draw card. This card seems fine. Pretty good. I mean, even if you're just looting, using it for the loot ability, like, it's just still... It's just loot. For, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's fine. Chandra's Spitfire, another elemental, three mana free, one three, flying chicken. Whenever an opponent is dealt non-combat damage, it deals, it gets plus three plus so. It's a four three. It's not bad. So if you hit him with a lightning strike, or you if your if your Chandra's emblem goes off. Oh God, yes. Hmm. It's also whenever. So if your emblem goes off and well, then you yeah, hit them with something else, and it's a seven 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 three. That's a lot of power. This is that's a lot of damage actually. Be good. And it's also flying. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And it's a one three. I mean, a one three is not bad stats on a, on an evasive three drop that gets bigger. Water sports, Drew. Thanks so much for reason, and thanks for hanging out, hanging out, buddy. Dagger sail aeronaut, uh, three two goblin for four. It has flying on your turn. I like how he's just got little daggers dangling everywhere. <laughs> those seem like they're. Those seem like those would fall out pretty easily. There's nothing <laughs> holding do. them on except for like they do they're, look like they're, they're just dangling. being balanced. Dangling, dangling daggers, aeronaut. Destructive Digger. What is the dagger? What is this alliteration that's going on here? Three two. Another three two for three. Sacrifice an artifact or land draw a card. These are all limited cards. Totally fine. Dragon Mage. Uh, seven mana for a five five. If you have Narset in play with this, <laughs> does this mean? Yes, it does. They draw one. Yes, they would draw one. Hmm. It's on your turn. Whenever Dragon Mage deals combat damage to a player, each player discards their hand, then draws. If it's on cards. their turn, they would go to zero cards in hand. I feel like they would not be able to come back from. You that? would not be able to attack with this on their turn. Oh, it's still. Com I thought it was ETB. Sorry. Wow, you're so dumb. The emblem of the chicken doesn't work since the emblem pings on upkeep, right? Each opponent at the beginning of your upkeep. Yes, it does. What? Why are you hitting me? If if they act of treason, then it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> but how is it? If they act choosing an attack with it? Yeah. Okay. You would draw seven cards, and your opponent would discard their hand and not draw anything. Elk Tears was interested in randoming this with Bond Revival, because Bond gives haste, and then you attack with it on that turn. So you're playing, like, Grixis Reanimator. Which one was Bond of Revival? Uh, it's a reanimated creature card, and that creature gets haste. I'll just show you. What color? It's black. It's a, it's a reanimated it's card. It's five mana, right? Yeah. Return target creature card, against haste. Yeah, it's it. literally... Yeah. Okay, it's so it's also a wizard, yeah. It's so a, so we're playing four color. No, it's Grixis. Black, red, blue. What's what's the fourth color? Uh, no, it's not one. It's three color. <laughs> what's the fourth color, man? It's a wizard, Harry. It's a wizard, Harry. 
Uh, seven mana for a seven seven, basically Gristle Brand again. Mm. Flying. Whenever Draku Seth Maw of Flames attacks, deals four damage to any target, three damage to each up to two other targets. That's that's a lot of damage, man. Yeah, it deals ten damage divided into three things. This card's pretty cool. I don't know if it's gonna see play at seven mana, but I mean, still, it does a lot of things. It does have to attack before you do anything, <clears throat> but you can't cast it out. I don't know. It's a cool card. I like this card. Frank's record just skipped and he told Rob what the card does twice in like a breath. Ember Hauler. This card's always great. Two, two, two for two. It, you could sack it to shock something. Just fine. Just fine. We already have that ability. Do we? Yeah. On a better card. Crater Maker? Yep. Crater Maker. He also destroys Karns. For fun. Hmm. <sighs> Maker. Well, Crater Maker does just tune a target creature. This is any target. Oh, so it can better. hit Planeswalkers, it can hit players. That's better. Cool. Better art, too. Very similar art, actually. Yeah, they're both hauling things. <laughs> Kadeen, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Fire Elemental. 5 4 4 5. Okay. 5 4 4 Flame five. Sweep. 3 mana. Flame Sweep deals 2 damage to each this creature except good. for creatures you control with flying. I like this card. Yeah, it's just basically. It's an instant. Well, it's basically Kozlex Return. Yeah, K Return. Yep. That doesn't hit some of your dudes, right? It doesn't. Re it doesn't return. Yeah, but whatever. This is sweet. Fry two mana can't <laughs> be countered. Fry deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker that's white or blue. This card's just fine. All these cards like this combust like all the uh, the traditional cards that do like five damage uh, to a white or blue card have always been played. Mm. This also gives Red a very very good answer to Lyra, so. Glinthorn Buccaneer, three mana for a two four haste. That's actually a great deal for a red card, and it's also a pretty unique mana cost assist, so that you can have it in your <laughs> graveyard. Uh, whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to each opponent. That's fine. Uh, then it, it has a way to discard a card and draw a card. Activate it's this only if it is attacking. Hasty's nice. Yeah, two four for for three with haste, and a damage ability and a, 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 a rummage ability. This card seems great. How you doing over there? They're they're giving Are us they... they're giving us the go ahead on the GoFundMe. Good. Yeah. Oh, you should totally let me know about it. And I, I, I'll, I know you would, and that's part of the reason I was trying to get it done with because I knew you would do that. I would totally do that. I would I love to. Would. Just even if it was just for a day, like I'll do. I'll do it all. I'll do it all week if you want. Yeah, that would be amazing. Goblin Bird Grabber uh, gains flying until end of turn. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. <laughs> <laughs> is that his tongue hanging out, or is that his mustache? That's his tongue. But I'm laughing at Goblin Bird Grabber. Like <laughs> this is just a weird card, man. <laughs> There, I hey. opens my mouth to catches the bugs. <laughs> the bugs. Okay, gains flying until of turn, only if you control a creature with flying. So if you have a flyer, it gains... Hey, oh, hey, so it grabs, hey, onto, it grabs the bird. onto the bird. I got you. I like it. This is great. Not the fried bird. Grab him by the bird. You're present. Grab him by the <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, um. that's awkwardly... That's I'm not comfortable with how accurate that is. This is amazing. Goblin Ringleader is now legal and modern. Yeah, it's insane. That's unbelievable. It's so sick. In Modern Horizons and Core 2020, we now have Goblin Ringleader and Goblin Matron. Yeah, so sick. Dude, that is exciting. So I guess in the next set, we'll probably have Goblin Lackey. Relax and Sam. Rummage makes you discard a card first before you draw your card. Looting, you draw a card, then discard. So looting is better. Looting, you draw the card. You can have you have all information, and you can be like, "This is the worst card, man." Rummage, you have to discard a card first, and then hope it's worse than the card you're drawing. Yeah. Uh, elk tears really quickly. Um, basically, there's a GoFundMe being set up for my daughter's All Star softball team. This weekend, we won sectionals after districts, so now we're going to uh, states, which is about three hours away. So we're looking to raise money to help for the lodging and stuff for everybody. Yes. But, but we'll talk about that later. But I will definitely have the link to Rob's GoFundMe this week and I'll be posting it so you guys and no, can. No, it's not for, it's not just for me. It, it's for, it's the, for whole the whole team. softball yeah, team. Yeah, it's for the whole softball team. Yep. So they need like, how many players? Like there's 14, 14 players. Yeah, we have 14. I was going to say 17. So and you're looking at two to three nights. Right. Yeah. So food travel yeah all kinds of stuff, i mean so. if we even if we literally just pay for a night or something per person that would be insane oh yeah for sure yeah every little bit it's it's, it's definitely an every little bit helps situation exactly, yep five dollars so five thousand goblin ring leader probably won't see much play in standard i imagine uh when it enters the battlefield reveal the top four cards of your library put all goblin cards reveal this way into your hand i don't think there's a, a goblin deck strong enough no but uh, this is just a great addition. And this is nice because you could put it in a set like Core 2020. It won't have a big impact, but it gets it into Modern, which is nice. Yeah, I realized I was literally just sitting the same way he's standing. Yeah, you guys are basically the same. You are you are the Goblin Ringleader. 
You are the the Roblin ringleader. Ro- what? Ro- Roblin, Roblin ringleader because it's, it's, I just replaced the G with an R. Yeah, that was a four out of ten. How would I got? How would I get like a six out of ten? What would have would have taken? You think? I got to think about that. Okay. Yeah. Goblin smuggler. Roblin smuggler. All right, that's six out of ten. Roblin smuggler assists. <laughs> Uh, two two for Smokes three assist. with haste, so it's basically a two two for two without haste. <clears throat> Another creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. Oh, it's just like a goblin tunneler. It's a goblin smuggler instead of a tunneler. They gave it one more power. They gave it haste, and they made it two more mana or one more mana. So same same card. I mean, you'll play this in limited. It's not going to see constructed. Infuriate one mana creature gets plus three plus two until end of turn. This is a worse version of Titan Strength. Um, scry. It is. Scrying it is worse is because the scry is better, but it's also like. It's literally just neg zero, negative one from giant growth. It's basically giant growth. Yeah, you're right. Is this hilarious? Like, look at this. There's a goblin in there. Look at him go. Oh, I get it. He's smuggling the goblin. He's in. smuggling goblins, but he's also a goblin that smuggles. Yes. Wow. It's a, yeah. Are you making he is fun a of goblin. No, he's a it. goblin smuggler. He's, and, and then he, he is a goblin. Yeah. But he's also a goblin smuggler. Yes. And then he's smuggling the goblins. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. It's, a, it's like a double entendre. Wait, go there. back to the uh, flavor text. I am but a humble traveler. I have no taste for sneakery nor thiefiness. <laughs> That's not true at all. Thiefiness. I like thiefiness as a word. <laughs> no sh- marketplace. Anyway, this card's fine. I like how close it is to giant growth. It's like, all right, red, you're not exactly giant growth. You're one less toughness, but you're close. Keldon Raider, four mana for a four three. When it enters the battlefield, you may discard a card if you, you draw rummage. a card. So yeah, again, this is just a rummage trigger. But it's not forced. So if you have a great card in hand, you want to keep it. You just keep it. Lavakin Brawler. Four mana for a 2-4. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 0 until the end of turn for each elemental you control. Again, like if there's an elemental deck, this is not going to go in it. It's four mana for a 2-4 base, and that's just not enough. Leyline of Combustion. You know what's weird to me? Hmm, tell me. That like, so far all three of the other Leylines have been reprint have been reprints, and then they've thrown in like two new Leylines. It's weird when they have a cycle of Leylines, yeah, but some are new and some are old. And they've done that before. If Leyline of Combustion is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Obviously. <laughs> whenever you and... Like, why even say it? It says Leyline in the title. Uh, whenever you and or at least one permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, it deals two damage to that player. What is... So I don't think this is playable. Would this be playable if it said whenever you or at least one of your permanent be- becomes a target of a spell, you could choose where the two damage goes? Oh, any target? You can deal two yes, to any target? Yes, it just basically gave you a shock every time they targeted is this, you. Is this, un, is this unplayable? Yeah, this is unplayable. Interesting. I think this is unplayable. Because think about it, what deck would you put this in? Your first assumption would be mono red, which you want a critical mass of cards that are in your hand to begin in with. In the burn mirror, though. Like, if they if they go to Wizards Lightning, you, they take two. If so they the, play the this, Pyro, the Pyro this, yeah. Pyromancer, they, they take two. Like, this literally wins you the burn mirror. This should literally win you the burn mirror. If they go to Teferi, bounce one of your guys. If they like, no, I don't. I don't think this is good enough. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Maniacal Rage, two mana, and Chain Creature gets plus two, plus two, and can't block. We've seen it. This card excites me. Oh, as someone who, oh, 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 oh. as someone who has wanted uh, a competitive dinosaur deck, this card is, seems awesome. Two three for two. You already have me. That's a great rate. Love the three. I love the, the fact that it's a two three and right, not, not a, a two, three two or not a two two. Any two, yeah. two two toughness is where you're really really Correct. selling me here, yeah. as, especially on a red creature. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. That's also great. Not just dinosaurs, all creatures. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it. Okay, if a dinosaur is dealt damage this way, it gets plus two plus. It out. attacks for four. <gasps> yeah. That's so great. this could be you play this guy in turn two, turn three you can play a Rip Draw Raptor. Uh, you now have a 4-5. You can attack for 4 with this guy, and you draw a card from the Rip Draw Raptor. Like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, like, this card is fantastic. Yeah, and Gore Claws. Or Ranging Raptors. Too. You can play Ranging Raptors for 2 mana land. after this. Get a land. Yep. Like, all of these sweet, sweet... Uh, yeah, that lets you cast turn 3 Phoenix, too. Yeah. Poly Raptor is infinite, which is kind of scary, because you can easily break that on Empty Jury, and I have no idea how Empty Jury well, is going to Well, wait a minute. You, you can't do that, right? Is there a way to stop it? You'd have to have a way it's to not stop a the ability. cycle. If a dinosaur is dealt damage this way, it gets uh, yeah, it's not a may ability. If it's if it, if it enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to it. Right, so you'd have to have a way to stop the cycle, or else you can't play it. Why? You because then you lose the game because you're make, creating a game state that you can't advance. Why do you lose the game though? I thought if you I thought if you actively 
I thought there's a rule that states that if you actively try and stop the game from progressing, you lose the game. I could I could have sworn you can't do that. Is that true? I don't think so. It just seems like a draw, right? Is no one no draw? one wins the game. Mm, okay. It just seems really funny because it's just a two card combo that just doesn't end, right? That card, this card's really good. This card, like you said, this card like opens up archetypes. It really can. Right, because it's literally a giant. It's not a giant growth, but like it's it's basically a rampant growth for creature decks. Yeah. On a two three, that triggers all of your enrage mechanics, all of them. It just sucks that they gave us this card. Should have been a set or two ago. Like what? it makes me sad that like you get yeah. three months to play with yeah, this why, guy why and all the other dinosaurs. Why do you give it to us then? Yeah, I agree. Judge draw nice. Got future L2, L2s weighing in here, so. Judge has spoken. Mask of Immolation, two mana. Sweet card. Art. Uh, I like this art a lot. This art's mm -hmm. real creepy. Um, oh, look, it's Igor. Oh, look, it's the... Yep, there Igor. you go. Look, I told you. Actually, I imagine Igor's Russian, right? That's got to be a Russian name. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh, when, that was the same guy. Right, that's my oh. point. When Mask of Immolation enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 red elemental creature token, then, attack, then attach Mask of Immolation to it. So... Again, you're getting a 1-1 one, one for two. It has Sack This Creature. Oh, it's Mortar Pod. It's Mortar Pod. Oh, that's interesting. Well, Mortar Pod equips for one, I think. But it's still like they're making Flare, Husk, and Mortar Pod, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far. These are kind of like living weapons. But they're colored. Which right, but they're colored, and they make 1-1s one instead of 0 And it makes ones. an elemental. Also relevant. And it's uncommon. That's good uncommon. Pack Mastiff. Two mana for a 2-2. Two, two. Each creature you control named Pack Mastiff gets plus 1, plus 0 oh until Pretty end Pretty good turn. limited. Very can be very strong if you can get if you can get a bunch even if you just get one it's still a two two for two that pumps itself why would the judge draw a card though that's a good question that's a good question uh <laughs> equip master the raptor then polyraptor and sack to stop the cycle yeah there you go in the middle of the cycle stop the cycle rapacious dragon five mana for a three three when it enters the battlefield create two treasures five is too much five is too much but Two treasures is nice. You're basically paying for three for it, right? Kind of. Mm. It ramps you to eight. Mm. That's not nothing. It's close. Reckless. It's, it's close to nothing. Reckless airstrike. One mana. Choose one. It deals three damage to a creature with flying or just run artifact. This is a great card for I think the... there's a great red side. Wow. Card. Look, look at the bird. Poor little bird, dude. This reminds me... Oh, that's hilarious. This yeah. art is fantastic. Ah! <laughs> this reminds me of uh, like Crushing Canopy where you're like destroy a, an artifact or a red creature or a flying creature rather. What did I say? Artifact? Yeah. Yeah. But, enchantment but, but I understand of, what you're saying. Yeah. Enchantment or a flying creature. Overkill to kill the seagull. He doesn't even look like he's trying to kill it. He's got a damn net. <sighs> he's got a net. He's got a dang net. Anyway, this card seems great. Uh, this is obviously going to be a, a staple. Like, it, it just replaces all of your one man. Like, whenever there's a one man destroy an artifact card, like, this just replaces that. Reduce to ashes, five mana, deals five damage. If the creature would die, exile instead. Good and limited. Never going to see a constructed play. Repeated reverberation is interesting. Four mana for an instant. When you when the, when the you next ca That's a weird way to... When you next cast an instant spell, not the next instant spell. That's a weird way to word that. That's the first time they've said when you next cast an instant spell, cast a sorcery spell or activate a loyalty ability. Copy that spell or ability twice. You may choose a new target. So if I if you go repeated reverberation and lightning bolt, you're actually doing three lightning bolts. If you go Chandra on six and then cast, do her plus two and then make them lose three life a turn. They, they get three emblems. Yeah, they they're probably just going to lose the they're game, just, right? They're dead. I don't know. This card seems... Being able to copy something... Twice. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, being able to copy something twice is pretty strong, but for four mana, like... <clears throat> four what, is rough. You're sealing to, for the number of things you can do before I'd this. rather pay two to copy it once. It, lets you, it does let you double ults, but I feel like if you're doubling... If you're ult, ulting to begin yeah, with, you're Yeah, like you're probably winning. in good shape. Rip Scale Predator, That's another reprint. card. Is that this not... Is it, This is a reprint, right? Rip Scale Predator? No, I'm never... Well, I was talking about the art. This was in Gate Crush. Yes, it's a six-five. It can't be blocked except by two of our creatures, so it has Menace, Menacio. This is a dinosaur. That's funny. In 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 Gate Watch, it was in Gate Crash. It was a lizard. Now it is a dinosaur. Interesting. That's great. I actually don't like that. Why? That they did that. Why? It's the same card, same art. Like, I don't like that. Well, it's a rat. The originals are a dinosaur too. Now they're both dinosaurs. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how that works. 
Scampering Scorcher. Four mana for a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one red elementals. So it's four mana for three 1-1s. One, uh, and then elementals you control gain haste until end of turn. That's interesting because they all get haste. This is four mana for three 1-1 one, one haste creatures. And uh, it gives all your other elementals haste. Which is why this is not a sorcery or something. Because you want it to stick around to give the other creatures haste as well. So... No, 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 bueno. Nah, I, I think it'd be pretty cool if it was three mana. I think this is if there's an elemental deck, I could see, I could see this being. Again, I need to get to the card that's in the gold colored. Why is it like sometimes it has volume, sometimes it doesn't? It's really weird. Bobby Miser, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I would love to know if there's volume and other things on my, on my computer right now. <clears throat> I guess I can just go over here and click the. There are. There is. Scorch Spitter. Whenever Scorch Spitter attacks, it deals one damage to the player or Planeswalker it's attacking. One, one for one. So it's basically, this is similar to like uh, the Conquistador that was like a one, two for one. And yeah, they lost a life attacked, whenever it attacked. Life, yeah. yeah. So it's basically essentially a two, one on attacks unless it gets blocked and it's a one, one. But still does damage. Shock. Cool. We've seen it. Tectonic Rift. Destroy land. Creatures of flying can't block. Without flying. Without flying, that's not right. So I mean, like this is actually fine. Mm. Like the, you're you're not really killing the land here. You're usually trying to use it to get get your damage through. I mean, yeah. it's not going to see constructed play, but maybe you would just use the one damage thing instead. Which one? The four mana deal one damage to everything and they can't block. Well, I guess not. Maybe you eat one of their. Oh, I'm I'm sorry I heard for it you. That time. Violated girl, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I'm sorry, violated girl. Thunderkin Awakener, two mana for a one two elemental, with haste. A lot of these elementals are haste. Whenever Thunder Kill Elemental attacks, choose an elemental creature card in your graveyard with toughness less than Thunderkin Awakener's toughness. You need to like look up uh, all the elementals. Uh, well, <clears throat> this one is is a one one. That's really good. So to you get your one one back, and then you, and then you get, get three one ones. Yeah, and so get... they all have haste. Yeah. Oh, but they're already attack. He's already attacking. Still, so that's still very one. good. Yeah. Return that card to the battlefield. Oh, return it to the battlefield. Tapped and attacking. So the one one will attack. And then sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step, so you can just keep getting that guy back. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't exile the card, so like you sack the one one, but then you can just get it back next turn too. Where you look like yeah, you're, no, you're right. That's sick. Mm -hmm. Uncaged fury. The double strike on this is very very good. Like a plus one plus one and double strike is is. This card is probably going to win some games out of nowhere for people. I mean, even on like a goblin chain whirler, it's still eight damage. So, I don't know. I. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a card. It's a limited card, but I, I don't overlook it in standard because double strike is real scary. Unchained Berserker. This is gonna. I think this is the last red card. Two mana, one one. Uh, pro white. It gets plus two plus oh as long as so it's a three one attacker with pro white. That seems fine. It can't be bounced with Teferi. It can't be. Uh, if Teferi's bouncing your two mana one one. Well, against the red deck, like they what what are they, or against the uh, Esper deck, what do they really do against this guy? I guess yeah, they tyrants down. Yeah, tyrants corner. Tyrants corner. So I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna shut up now. Barkhide troll, green green for a two two. Enters battlefield with one encounter. So it's, nope, it's three three. Now it's yeah. I was like, why not just why not just just making the three three? Uh, one mana removal one one counter from Barkhide troll. It gains hexproof. Now I know why they didn't make another three three. <laughs> All right, so it's a two two that comes in as a three three that you can remove a counter from to make it hexproof. That's seems good. It's a good okay. rate. Remember that time there was the six mana. Blue card that made two three threes. This is a two mana three three for green. So you can just play two of these. And you're same thing. They got hexproof. Oh, uncage free and feather decks. Yeah. What's feather three four? So they could just attack for eight and get it back every turn. It's pretty good. Are you okay? Yeah, I was trying to think if it was. I was. <laughs> I was trying to. I was trying to think of the name of the other the hasty dude that gets whenever you target it gets even bigger, because that's like that just seems like a better better target. Uncage free does he have a trample? Or is he just <clears throat> plus one plus one double strike? Uh, it's plus one, plus one, double strike. Okay. I was just, that's well, what I was thinking is if you gave a trample because then that, that card's just busted together. Brightwood Tracker. Four mana for a 2-4. Uh, so you already lost me. Look at the top four cards of your library. You can reveal a creature card from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library. Okay. Well, that's good. <coughs> the final Prime Cavalier. Time. Prime time? Five, six for five. <gasps> good rate. Mm. Reach. Not as good as trample. <laughs> or Vigilance. When Cavalier of Thorn enters the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of your library, put a land from among them onto the battlefield and the rest in your graveyard. Wow, that's like, that's like, that's the saddest prime time ever, dude. When it dies, you may exile it if you do put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. 
This card sucks That's so bad. Be. This card sucks. So you get the Noxious Revival when it dies. They gave up. They gave up when they when they did this. Sometimes I think like they were so they're so damaged by Primeval Titan that they never want to even come close to it. They're like, no, we can't. Was that card busted in standard? I didn't play that. It was. It's busted in everywhere. Actually, all of the Titans were good at different points. Like there was there were meta games with every single Titan being good at a different point. Even Frost Titan. Yes, Frost Titan was busted at certain points because <laughs> like no one could kill it. Centaur Courser, three mana for a three-three. The uh, gold standard and three drops for for, for gold, commons. The gold standard. Elvish Reclaimer, one mana for a one-two. Ooh, that's a good rate. That's a Squire rate. Relvish Reclaimer gets Relvish. Relvish Reclaimer gets plus two plus two as long as there are three or more land cards in your graveyard. Three four if you have three or more lands in your graveyard. Uh, two and a tap, sack a land. Search your library for a land card, put it on the battlefield, tap the shovel. Wow, this I card. like this card a lot. Searching for any land, yeah, not this, just a basic this, land. This card keep in mind. may see play. You can just get a Dark Depths with this. Yes. Or you, you can get a Bog. But you can Bog? Yep. Mm. Like, this is a literal crop rotation on a on a, yeah, this on card, a creature. Wow, this card's nice. This is pretty good. And you can get it with you can get it with Ranger of Eos, which is interesting. Yep. You can actually even... Can you get it with a new Ranger? Yeah, it's one mana. You can get it with Ranger Knight Captain of Eos. This card seems pretty good. Is it Ranger? Ranger Captain of Eos, right? Yeah. This card seems great. Plus, I mean, it's if you have three lands in your graveyard, it's just a 3-4 for one mana. Like, that's a friggin' great deal. That's baby Tarmogoyf, man. Yeah, you get a Valakit, sure. But I think there's... I think they're silver bullet applications. I don't think this is a Valakit card. Plus, like, do the, you really want to kill your opponent's one drop? Like, mm -hmm. not really. Getting three lands in the right. Modern also just has the the cycle lands now, so like this yeah. this card's fantastic. And and the fact that three damage with four toughness being able to attack right. is pretty relevant. You can't lightning bolt it. Yeah, that's like, pretty relevant. And then you can instant speed. You know, in mo in eternal formats and in modern, you can find ways to make it a four a four butt. In the old night elf mohawk ranger captain of Eos. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what we're looking at here. This card know. seems great. Yeah, this card. And it's an elf. Like it's got great. relevant creature types, man. And the thing about it too is like it's not it's not even like in order to make such a really cool card that they made, it really doesn't seem that great in standard. I mean, right. other than the fact again, it's just a one mana three four. Again, that's something I like that they yeah. can make these cards that are really strong in modern yeah. and standard or modern and legacy, but they're not that great in standard. That'll never be a thirty dollar rare. Right. That'll never. Well, so it, someone said that. That's why I said it. They said buy it now before it's thirty. Oh, um, maybe no long term, like mm -hmm. real long term. I mean, we're talking five plus years, something like that. Yeah. Feral Invocation. Three mana, flash, enchant creature gets plus two, plus two. Yeah. The best part about this card? That's a kitty cat in the background. Yeah, that's Frost Links. That's our sacred links. Ferocious Pup. Three mana for an 0-1. When it enters the battlefield, create a 2-2. Two, two. Mama Green, Green Wolf. So there's just a 2-2 two, two for three, but it also comes with an 0-1 for three. So. It's good with Arlen. Oh, yeah, because they both get counters. That's great. That is great. So if you, if you have your Arlen out, uh, your six mana Arlen, then on turn seven, you can play your... your. No, I guess that's never happening. Nope. Gargos, Vicious Watcher. Six mana for an eight seven. Jesus. <laughs> Vigilance, Hydra spells you cast cost four less to cast. Awkwardly enough, that cost reduction is a little too late by the time you get Gargos out there. Whenever a creature you control becomes the target of a spell, Gargos Vicious, Vicious Washer fights up to one target creature you control. I, when I when I saw this card, I reposted it. I was, I thought this card was hilarious because this card's like, yo, if you if you 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 mess with any one of my dudes, we're fighting. I got you. I got your back. <laughs> it's also like Hydra spells cost four less, but I'm like, but I've already cast my Hydras Hydra. are funny because Hydras can literally say it, you could have like a two mana Hydra that's a twenty one twenty with haste, and it would still suck. They just suck. Wow, this is rude. They're sucky. This is really anti. You're really anti Hydra, dude. Hydra and Crassus is a Hydra. <gasps> Hail Hydra. Hydra and Crassus costs four less. Wow, that's gas. Oh, cool. I draw one card, gain one life. That's two. I draw two cards, gain two life. Do you? You literally don't know anything about Hydra and Crassus. Yes, the I do. first time we talked about this, you didn't know that the that X, was different. The X gave it like X was one, right? So like, if you spend X on five, it's getting five one one counters. Uh, now you think. Four, ma four extra mana on Hydroid Crassus is only one card in one life. You go home. I don't think you know anything about Hydroid Crassus, man. I am home. I just moved in with Frank. It's it's true. <laughs> Gift of Paradise. We're always going to have these in the sets now. Gift of Paradise. <laughs> Hydroid New Crassus. Horizons. Oh my god, I wonder if Hydroid Crassus counts because it's an X spell. It's a two drop. A Hydroid Crassus is cost for a different cost assist. 
It does because it's got an X in the spell. Yes, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? That's funny. That's funny. Why is that funny? You're drunk on your orange stuff. He can just handle his better than wow, me. Wow, where'd your ice go? You ate the ice too? Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Gift of Paradise. The three life is actually often relevant. Like this, in terms of like New Horizons, different versions of this card that like add two mana when you tap the land, uh, the three life is usually the most relevant. <clears throat> the one one counter is not super relevant, so. Uh, Greenwood Sentinel. Johnny Greenwood Sentinel. Greenwood Dummy. 2-2 two, two for two with Vigilance. Greenwood Sweet. Bear. Growth Cycle. Two mana. Creature gets plus three, plus three, and an additional plus two for each other card named Growth Cycle in your graveyard. So this is like um, accumulated knowledge for, for green, right? Is there so. a green pump spell that's accumulated knowledge, but it costs one, and I think it's plus two, plus two? I feel like there uh, is one already. There was, I don't know if it costs one. It might have cost two. Mm. What's the name of that card, guys? I think it was like plus two, plus two. I can't think of the name, though. I feel like Vigor. Muscle Burst. Muscle, Muscle burst. burst. That's it. Muscle Burst. Yeah, two mana. Gets a plus X, plus X, where X is three plus the number of Muscle Burst. So, so it was more like... better. It was more like Kindle than... Uh... I'm starting a GoHome.com account for Rob. Please donate at GoHome.com slash Rob. So we have to... So we have Get Him Home. That's barely English. So we have Get Him Home. We do have Get Him Home. Healer of the Glade, one mana for one, two, when it enters the battlefield, we'll gain three. I mean, it's an elemental. It's an elemental. You gotta, you gotta look on the bright side, buddy. Uh, Howling Giant, seven mana for a five, five with a reach. I'm already out. What's up, uh, Ryan? Create two, two, twos. That's not bad. Nine power for seven mana. That's pr that's that's good and limited. It's, oh, this is great and limited. I'll mm -hmm. take as many of these as I can get. Probably no more than two. <laughs> Leafkin Druid. Two mana, all two of them. Two mana for an O3. If you control four more creatures, add two green. It adds a green. This is fine. I mean, you're playing Druid. You see decks playing Druid of the Cowl already. This has one less power, but it also uh, has, has the opportunity. one bigger butt. No. Druid of the Cowl is a 1-2. A 1-3. No, Druid of the Cowl is a 1-2. Druid of the Cowl is a 1-3. Is it, is it Frank Frank 30, Rob 2? Druid of the Cowl is a 1-3. Dang it. What's the one two? There's one in standard right In now. That's a, a one, one two. two. That I don't know. Incubation Druid is an O two. I know that one. Paradise Druid is a two one. All right, you keep going. I'm gonna search. Okay, Leafkin Druid. Uh, I mean, like, I think the the you're losing one in power, but you're you're adding the opportunity to add an extra green, which I think is totally fine. It's also an elemental, which is, again, could be relevant. Leyline of Abundance, the new Leyline for green, uh, which I, people have already been talking about combos for this card. You may begin the battle. It obviously, it goes into play if it's in your opening hand. Whenever you tap a creature for a mana, add additional green. And then you can put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control for 8 mana. 8 mana is a friggin' lot. But I think you're just literally... Uh, you're hoping... So, like, um, Freed from the Real and Bird of Paradise is the combo yeah. they're talking about. Because you can tap the bird for a blue and a green. And you can use Freed from the Real to untap the bird for 1. And then add two, and then untap for one, add two. And then it's kind of an infinite combo with Freed from the Real, Leyline, and Bird of Paradise. So it's a three-card infinite combo in Modern. Um, but, you know, it, this card is interesting. Again, it's I don't think it's good by itself. I really don't. I think it just has combo applications. Like, whereas every other Leyline feels like a sideboard card. Most of the Leylines feel like sideboard cards. Leyline of... Uh, Sanctity. Leyline of Sanctity, Leyline Leyline of the Void. void. The red, all the red Leylines felt sideboardy. This one just feels like you're going to build around it. Kind of like Leyline of Anticipation, I guess. Loaming Shaman. Another interesting card to include in Standard. Uh, yeah, because it's already in Modern. When it enters the battlefield, target player shuffles any number of target cards from their graveyard into their library. So it's a 3-2 three, for 3. Um, it's fine. It doesn't see any play in Modern or Legacy. So if there's a Standard deck that has to do with the graveyard, this is what it's this is going to hit that. But you find it yet? I'm looking right now. Unbelievable. Like Mammoth Spider. 3-5 with Reach for 5... Not exciting. I was wrong. I know. Dang it. Might of the Masses. Again, this was just in... What is this? Dominaria card? Let's check. Might of the Masses. It's been around a few times, I think. Oh, it's in Guilds of Ravnica, and it was in Magic Origins. Origins, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's already legal and standard. It sees no play. Not this is in standard? Yeah, it's in Guilds of Ravnica. Weird. Target creature gets 1-1 one, one for each creature you control. Natural End... Destroy an artifact or enchantment, gain three life for three mana. This is just better than Appetite, right? Like, Appetite was three mana, destroy an artifact or enchantment, gain two life. 
This has gained three life. It's, it's not as good as the two mana one, though. What's the two mana one? The naturalize with the graveyard exile effect. I mean, if you need that, three life is very relevant. If you want to kill an experimental frenzy and gain three life, like it seems good against red decks. True. Sure. I don't know. Like, it's just. I mean, I'm going to say it's strictly better than Appetite for the Unnatural because you're gaining an extra life, and that's usually uh, 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 that's a metric that we usually look favorably upon. And um, so it's just a nice improvement. Is this is this has this card ever been printed? No. I don't this think art so. kind of looks familiar. No, this art doesn't look familiar to me at all. Yeah, it's right here. It's an Avison. It's an Avison restored card. It already oh, exists. Whatever. <laughs> that's say yeah. You're like you know, I, I was like this. Another art looks notch familiar. in the belt. Netcaster Spider, 2-3 three for 3 with Reach. Whenever it blocks a, spy, a flying creature, uh, it gets plus 2, plus 0. So I think this is another Avacyn card. You can even tell by the art. This seems pretty good in Limited, but it's probably there's not a lot of flyers in this uh, Limited set. This was in Oath of the Gatewatch Conspiracy. Iconic Masters. Okay, so it was not in... It is definitely a reprint. Yeah, Magic 2015. Right, but I mean, I'm just saying, it looked like a, this looks like an Istrad art, mm -hmm. so I was just like, was it an Istrad set? But Maybe there's not, not there's not a lot of flyers in this limited format. Is that true? That doesn't seem accurate. It seems like this is a f flying centric. Are you fucking around? Um, yeah, I'm fucking around with you because that was what you said the other. Remember that where you're doing that draft, and you didn't want the damn spider, and then we just got blasted oh, around yeah, one by flyers, like there was just flyer time. after flyer. <laughs> Nightpack Ambusher is a four mana four four with flash, so very very much Yeva. You were Yeva. Treva? Yep. I remember Treva. Do you remember Yeva? No. Robert? Yeva's a herald. Yes. Yes, I do now remember. You, he remembers. Yeva, nature's herald, 4 mana, 4, 4 with flash. Uh, other wolves and werewolves you control get plus 1, plus 1. At the beginning of your end step, if you didn't cast a spell this turn, crit a 2-2. Two, two. Very, be each very werewolf. Uh, Should be each end step. This is interesting because you want to flash this in. No, you don't. I was gonna say you want to flash it during their mains, their during their uh, the end of their main phase. So when the end step happens, yeah. you can make a wolf. Exactly. But you've cast you cast this, a spell either so. way. Yeah. Uh, Nightpick Amateur makes me think we are heading back to Innistrad soon. It feels like foreshadowing to me, including werewolves when there are none currently. Um, to me, it just feels like uh, this just feels like a throwback. Like I think core sets are just meant to throw back. And also, to... pe people like wolves. Like some people because you're also making players. golems. There's also Master Splicer as well. So I don't think that's any indication of. Uh, core sets usually have a mismatch of all the different sets. You know what I mean? Mishmash. Um, like no one said when Master Splicer, like this reminds me of New Phyrexia, this reminds me of Mirrodin, right? We're probably going back to Mirrodin. Um, core sets like to have uh, a little bit of everything. And this card seems fine. Like it's a 4-4 four, for four, 4 with Flash. Makes werewolves if you don't have anything to do. Overcome. Boy, it's it's funny watching like... This is another reprint. Um Yes. Uh, it's funny watching like whenever you see like an overrun you're like well they're just gonna keep uh, they're just gonna keep making it worse and worse until like they finally they're like okay plus two plus two and trample five mana that's where we're comfortable give plus neg one neg one and trample wow that's pretty bad it is bad overgrowth elemental three mana for a three two elemental when it enters the battlefield put a one one counter on another elemental you control so already buffing its friends Whenever another creature you control dies, you gain a life. If that creature was an elemental, put one encounter on this. This has a lot of things going on. It's, it's elementals very nice. matter. Yeah. What was that beep? Did you hear that? Am I have? Did you guys hear a beep? I didn't hear any beep. No beep. Uh, just got back from some wedding planning, tasting. Where do you want me to send you, Mike, and Rob's invitations? Zedra, you can message me on uh, on Facebook or just send me an email, and I'll get you some addresses to send those to. And can then we can all seriously consider cake? going. Send him some. That cake was your cake was fantastic. Almond, oh, dude, almond cake. It I was never had unbelievable. I never off, had it before. I was like, this yes, is I was the same. I never had it until we did all the no. all the tastings. I never. Almond cake is fantastic. Yeah, your cake, your cake was gas. Um, yeah, this this card seems great. I mean, it's a three two for three. It puts another counter on a thing. It does a thing when it comes into play. If elemental tribal can be a thing, if, this card's right. great. This is a fundamental card. It does it. It benefits itself and other cards. In el in an elemental deck, this is this is good. Did Fabloop. you hear that for bloop for bloop? Plummet, always good. Always good plummet. Always love a plummet. The end. Pulse of Morassa, I'm like a this. big fan of. I like Pulse Especially of Especially in Sultai decks. Six life is so much life, and especially if you're getting a Hydroid Crassus back. Oh, dang. That or, I was thinking Hostage Shaker. Oh, yeah. Like I a was dead Hostage, Hostage Shaker. Shaker like, too. that's just good. Yeah. Like, all the all the creatures you're playing in these decks are very, very good to begin with. So, it's like, yeah, this is fantastic. I live in New... Oh, man. I've never been to New Orleans, actually. I would love to go to New Orleans. That sounds like gas, dude. All right. I'm totally coming. I have tinnitus. I hear some beeps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laughing at the tinnitus. I'm laughing at that. that was a funny comment. 
<laughs> oh man, Rabbit Bite. Two mana, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. These cards are always interesting because they're not fighting per se. You're just kind of doing a fight adjacent ability, right? Like It's like you're fighting someone who can't fight back. That's true. That's literally what you're doing. You're fighting someone and they can't fight back. That's literally what it is. Which is weird because it seems like it's at odds with the fight mechanic, right? Yeah. It is better than fight. It's for Maybe sure better than fight. call it scuffle. <laughs> Kerfuffle. T tussle. It's not a fight. It's, it's a, a tussle. Bite. It's a bite. It's a tussle. It's a bite. It's a bite. It's a tussle. A bullying. Bull <laughs> it's a sucker punch. It's a sucker punch. Oh, this card has bullying. Oh, it means man. it deals damage and they can't bullying. fight back. <laughs> Season of growth. Two mana. Whenever a creature enters battlefield under control, scry one. Okay. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature control, draw a card. It's pretty decent. This is doing a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two mana to scry every turn. Oh, no, it's you cast creature. Still, you're going to be doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's still really good, but you just don't want to... I mean... Oh, my God, it even works in multiples, too. Yeah, so if you have two of these, you draw so two cards. So it doesn't suck. Yeah, so you're never going to be like, oh, I wish I didn't... This is interesting. Yeah, this is a like, really nice uncommon. Like, Feather is, the, is, the, is like, making you get your cards back that you've cast, but this is just, like, letting you cycle through your deck. Yeah. So it's, it's very similar to the Feather like strategy yeah and if you're playing naya feather you can actually just play this on turn two and then you're like whatever you target your guys with you're drawing cards this is not bad this card seems great sedge scorpion look there's a one one death touch this is what i'm saying these one one death touchers this is two one one death touches in the same set mm -hmm. seems excessive shit auras <laughs> oh shit auras <laughs> oh shit auras <laughs> See, this is why punctuation is important. Yeah. Because instead of, oh, shit, auras, we got, oh, shit, auras. Those are some shit, auras. Five mana. Search your library for two creature cards with different names or real name. This card is great. Instant I like this card pretty, a lot. That's relevant. That's and it's green. Good. It's green card draw. Yeah. So at the end of the turn, you're like, it's Yeah, and it's, it's, it's two. It's, it's two. That's not bad. You can put this in cube and then just search for crater hoof and, like, something else. Yeah, that's the thing. You can do that. This card's great. I like this card a lot. It's, it's okay. It's okay. This is not tooth and nail. This is tooth this and is not tooth nail. And not nail yes. Yeah. yeah, it is half of tooth and nail, but it's also two mana cheaper. It's probably the bat, the, it's the worst half of tooth and nail. It is. Everyone knows the the better half is cheating on seventeen mana, right? But I like this card. Shifting ceratops five four for four is great. A uh, five four for three mana is even better, which is what this is. Exactly. If you have that other guy out, yes, can't be countered. Pro blue, and it gains reach trample or haste until end of turn. Yeah, this card is. This super card good. seems really good. A big gay, because I get filtered on using the correct wedding in New Orleans. Can't have more than that. Uh, I bet you can. On I bet I can you on the list. I think you mean put me on the list. I listen to your content before bed every night, and now my fiance says every time he hears your voice, he gets sleepy. And will even me request too. your videos to help him sleep, even though he doesn't really know. <laughs> I've actually had a bunch of people be like, I put your videos on uh, right before I go to bed, and I just fall asleep to these. And I'm like, that's, that's a great compliment. Is it a great compliment? It sure is. Yeah, I because feel like it's the opposite of a great it's compliment. It's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's not meant that way, what? obviously. Creepily? No, I, I wasn't saying creepy at all. What was the what were you what was the word you were because thinking? Because the way if the way if you read that without oh, context like it sounds like you're boring. No, 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 so but I don't take it that way. I know you don't. I'm I can saying, see how you could yeah, I yeah. could see how it could jokingly be interpreted yeah. as such. Yes, Undrum Tuna has also See, has is that a compliment? That. That's yeah, what they were wondering. For sure. Right. Like jokingly, obviously, haha, ha, yes, you're you're so boring, you put me to sleep every night. I get it. But you're just chill and relaxing. Right, like dude. that's the other thing. Like you're people so chill. like, hey. I can feel you from here. Well, that's why I put my hoodie on, because I was like, it's a little chill. Just, that's why you always wear a hoodie and a jacket? Is because you're trying to stop me from getting cold? I was thinking of you, yeah. Thanks, dude. Because I get to, I can, I get to trap the heat, my dude. All right, Treat. so this card's great. Shifting Ceratops, great. Silver Black Shaman. Uh. Look at all these runes on this dude. Uh. Okay, okay. 5-4, for Trample for 5. When it dies, draw a card. It's good and limited. That's real good and limited. When you see a Shaman, do you feel like it should be more less primal and more like... No, because he's a gorilla Civilized? shaman. No, he's a gorilla shaman. But should he wear clothing, do you think? You don't know if, he, if it is. Huh. You can't see. I his... feel like if you've mastered shaman shamanry, what's the word? Shamanry is perfect. Shamanic. Shamanic. Shamanic <laughs> ways. Shamanic ways. I'm tired of your shamanic ways. Anyway, not playable. It's a gorilla format. It's, 
What did we used to say? It's a calming voice. Listen. Wow, that is a great. Uh, see, again, I appreciate these compliments. What What did we used to say? What was our funny thing about? Was it Battle Bond? It's a It's a what format? It's a gladiator format. It's a gladiator. It's a gladiator format, format for sure. And, and cowards can't block. It's a gladiator format. And cowards can't block. Those are good. Those are good times, man. <laughs> I wish we could play some more Battle Bond or. That's um, That's one of my favorite formats. Yeah, that format. That, that one we played a lot, and then the other one with the funky the the uh, unglued set. I remember drafting Battle Bond, and we were like, "Is this gonna be enough cards?" Because you're drafting like three packs and yes. like, two decks. Yeah, and we're like, but then you realize like every card Everything. is good. That card had such little chaff. Yeah, that set. Yeah, Dicka Crasher four three. Did I say that card? Yeah, you said that card. Yeah, the card had such little chaff. It was a little chaff, a little chaffy. That was my that's my rap name actually. Dicka Crasher four mana for a four three with trample. Other elementals you control have trample. So, mm. so I don't think that's good enough. No, it's not. Thrashing Brontodon, however, so much Dicka Crasher. Are Thrasher. we gonna get more dinos? I wonder. Well, we're seeing a bunch. But it's the same thing as the initial. This is what I mean. Like, there's a bunch of dinosaurs in this set. There's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of what's the word? What's the other thing? Oh, vampire. Va no, vampire knight. Elementals. No, I'm talking about throwback cards. There's werewolves and wolves. There's dinosaurs. There's uh, golems. Like, there's the blue card that also makes golems. Like, there's a bunch of different throwbacks to other sets. Yeah, that was another. That one. doesn't necessarily indicate that we're getting more of yeah. these in the future. That was another one. We say. It's a surveil format, Frank. <laughs> It's a surveil format. Oh my god. The, yeah, the, the, <laughs> it's, a it's a surveil format. format. Man. You gotta take it. The, it was never a surveil format. You gotta take the mirror. It's a surveil. Veil of Summer. Fry Wilco, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. This card's great. Uh one mana, draw a card if an opponent has cast a blue or black spell this turn. Spells you control can't be countered this turn. You and permanents you control gain hexproof from blue this turn. This card's great. So they go, you you play a spell, they go, and now I'm gonna counter that. And you're like, and then you respond. You draw go, a card. Not only are you going to put counter. that in the garbage can, and I'm going to keep my dude. I'm going to draw another card if you're cool with that. And by the way, you can't touch my stuff. It's still going. You're like, draw a card from a spell. Spells can't be countered. You and permanent scan hexproof. From Throw that in the garbage can. It's like, God, this is so much text. Yeah. Vivian Arcbow Ranger. This triple triple green cost is really, it's really off putting. Uh, distribute two plus one plus one counters. Among also we put the larger I don't know if you guys noticed we put the larger windscreens on the on the mics they're much thicker so let me know if this is better or worse than it was previously uh, it should cut some of the like the out the mm, that's probably gonna be worse I feel like that looks better it does it looks better let, let us know if that looks better for Rob uh, oh it does blank thought erasure interesting oh yeah because you get hexproof. Oh, that's pretty good. So they don't even get a scry. That's surveil. It's a surveil. Sur format. It's surveil. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Four loyalty. Uh, so she goes up to five. Distribute two plus one plus one counters among up to two target creatures. They gain trample. The other thing, I don't, thing I don't like about this is this is literally just the Ajani uh, tyrant adversary of tyrants plus one ability, right? Yep. You're distributing up to two counters on two but creatures. Sure. Four mana planeswalker starts at four. Plus one is distribute two counters. Literally the exact same card except for the trample. Negative three, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Again, bullying. Negative three is bullying. So you get to deal damage <laughs> to a creature or planeswalker, they don't get to fight back. So that's what we're going to call this ability. We're going to call this ability from here on out. It's called bullying. Um, get bullied. Negative five. We don't support bullying. Which you can use the turn after it comes down. You may choose a creature card you own from outside the game to really put it in your hand. Mm, it's all right. Isn't Karn just plus wanting to do this same thing or negative twoing or something? What do you think about this? I don't know how I feel about this. So, so a lot of people said that that the the living wish part of it is super awesome. You're limited with your card pool. I'm sure there's some awesome cards you can get. Right? Here's the problem I have with this card: cost three green. Again, if I'm searching for creatures, that's generally the color I want to be in. I gotta plus it, and then plus it, and then minus it. Well, you can plus it and then minus it if you want to lose her, but you don't. Really. No, no, you don't. Unless you're getting some card that's, like, got seven power and cost three. I just feel like for four mana, like, I don't know. This this doesn't this doesn't seem that great. I'd rather play the other Vivian. The five mana Vivian just seems more flexible in this card. It just seems better. I love five mana Vivian. Because think about it. You're neg five. You're going to be going to get cards that are reactive to the game state. I'd rather run tooth. <laughs> I'd just call it tooth. Yeah. The alt negative five seems like a lot to ask for from this, where it's like... What is Karn? Karn is like... Karn's neg two. It comes in with five and next two. Yeah, Karn starts at five. For neg two, you can choose an artifact you own from outside the game and reveal that card and put it in your hand. Like, So instead of a creature, you get an artifact, but it's neg two instead of neg five. Durza, that was literally... Did you not see the way I looked at Frank waiting to see if he picked up on that? That's literally what I was saying. 
I was saying it's only worth it if you can like fetch out a seven power dude that costs three mana, but the, the stupid rotting regisaur. I missed it. Are we? Rob, you're an idiot. There is one in this set. I'm gonna keep going. We went over it. Are we done? Yeah, I'm done. If there was like some seven power creature for three, that'd be awesome. I don't know. That'd be it's totally worth it. Voracious Hydra X green green for an O one O one. I'm done. I was not just kidding. I was just not kidding. seducing him. Trample. Voracious Hydra enters with X one one counters on it. So let's say we spend let's say we spend four right six mana. So we have a four five. When it enters the battlefield, double the number of counters. So it enters as an eight nine, or it fights target creature you don't control. I said you don't control. That's weird. Why don't you just let it fight my own creatures too? It opens up design space, but you know it doesn't, what? They like, should do not... that because you, it, you could fight your own Riptal Raptors and stuff. You're enraged creatures. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it, cool. it, it's not super. Like no one's gonna break this card by fighting your own creatures. We did it. But like, it's a nice little. It's a nice little benefit to people who think outside the box a little bit. You know, like that's weird because it feels like that kind of rewards people. Um, what do you think of this card? It sucks. It's a four five. Sucky for four. Boy. For three mana, it's a two three. For five mana, what are we talking here? Six, seven for five? It sucks. Does it really? Yeah, this card sucks. It doesn't fly, it doesn't gain life, it doesn't draw cards. It's okay. not my hydro. We're, okay, we'll just compare. Why, you just. <laughs> you can't just read people's quotes and then make it sound like they're coming from you, man. You didn't let me finish. I was going to give him credit, Barman ATL. Vorst Claw. This Vorst is, Claw? This is the Vorst Claw I've ever seen. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Mm. Wake Root Elemental. I, 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 this card seems great. Uh, six mana for a five five. For five mana, untap a land you control. It becomes a five five. With haste, it's still a land. Do you not like this? Are you ser- Do you really think this is good? Five green is a lot. You suck. I suck. You suck if you think this is good. Like I know, I know your your love for the weird yeah. janky stuff is deep. I mean, but that you're never sucks. gonna play this over Biogenic Ooze. That card sucks. Why are you so hating on Hydra's Rob angry face? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. Cool man. card, terrible card. Amen. Amen. This card sucks. You suck. I'm that card. Wolf can bond. This is me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Five mana. Which one's which? Exactly. Make Do you a, wear hats? Make a two two. Get a get a get a plus two plus two. This card's always good. This is basically the green equivalent of knightly valor. Yeah. Which is fine. <clears throat> but um yeah i mean you're not gonna play this in constructed but it's great and limited wolf rider saddle all right we've got our uh Back in our the green equipment again. our green living weapon uh you make a two two and attach this to it so it's you're riding that wolf so it's four mana for you're two. riding that wolf equipment you get plus one plus one can't be blocked by more than one creature so it's a three three for four that can't be blocked by more than one dude what why doesn't that why isn't that ability keyworded menace is it can't be blocked by two or more creatures or it, 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 it has to be blocked by two or more creatures what happens if it can't be blocked by more than one creature? That should be keyworded, I think. Um, I agree with Elk Tears. That seems rare. The human is definitely Rob. Look how far he's spreading his legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we have a two, two. So it's a three, three for four that can't be blocked by more than one creature, and then you get to keep the equipment. That's. I like I like the the border of this card. The border? Yeah, I like the colored artifacts. I do too, actually. They, they're, yeah, they have a real appealing, like, different. It's, it's slightly different, but it's still cool. What's with all the frost links is everywhere? There's, there's cats in the background of every picture, dude. Woodland Champion, two, two for two. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield, put that many one, one counters on Woodland Champion. This card could be good. I mean, you raise the, you play this on two and then raise the alarm on three. It's a three man. No, you don't have to raise it on three man and Nissa makes two dudes, doesn't it? Three man and Nissa. The three, or not Nissa, the three man, uh, Chandra makes two dudes, doesn't it? She makes two one one elementals with haste, so that makes this thing a four four. Oh, that's really interesting. That's that's, that's pretty good. I mean, a four four for two is just Tarmogoyf, right? And then a six six, it's better. A six six, right? Like, and then it's not even done there. Yeah. Tristani that's, makes it bigger. Yeah, this card definitely has legs. It, it could. It oh, this works for treasures too. So if you made a treasure, like, oh, you're right. it doesn't have to be a creature token. It's just one or more tokens. Any token and clues. You can play this on two, then tireless tracker. It's not bad. And it becomes a 4-4. Four, four, I mean, it reminds me of... What's the other card? What was the... the There's like a 1-1 one, one, um, Quirion. Is it Quirion Dryad? <laughs> yeah, Quirion Dryad. Whenever you cast a white, blue, or black, or red spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It's a two, it's a 1-1 one, one for 2. And Quirion Dryad used to be big game. And it's an elf. So, like, I mean, this just... This seems great. Uh, this card seems really good. Especially for an uncommon. Quietly good. And now we're done. Now we're going to go to the uh, bar. We're going to the bar. Corpse Knight, two two for two. I like. I love. 
I love two colored two twos. Yeah. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. That's interesting. That's interesting because that, that feels potential. aristocratic. It, it is. It is aristocratic. He's a zombie knight. He is. How do you knight? How does a zombie get knighted? He was a knight before he was a zombie. There you go. But mm. don't you get? You know, you think you get to retain your? Yeah, knighthood? you take it with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours. It's unlike money. You could take it with you. You can yeah. take your knighthood with you. All right, that's fine. This card's good. I think this card's real good. Yeah, I like it. Creeping Trailblazer. This is what Rob is as well. Another 2-2 two, two for 2. Other elementals you control get plus 1, plus 0. If we got that green-red elemental deck on Fleek, then this is actually going right in that bad boy. I think it's Teamer. It has to be Teamer. Okay. Because the, the we haven't seen him yet. Knighthood is a state of mind. <laughs> I agree with you. Knighthood is a state of mind. Oh, cre plus 1, plus 1 for each elemental you control is yeah pretty strong. Sylvan Lightning, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I mean... It's it's not great in the early game, but in the late game, like you could probably pump this guy a bunch. Pump it. And the fact is, it's just a two two for two with a with a Lord ability. So, if there is, um, do you know what is the meaning of your last name in French? Some, I don't know because my last name is Italian, not French. So <laughs> I I read that and that looks like one of those questionable scam emails. Yes. Click this button to find out. Empyrean Eagle for three mana for a two three. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus one. If you go turn two favorable ones, turn three this guy. Like all your floaty boys are gonna be. Soren, but not the impervious blood lords. You can't, but with a deck like favorable winds, you can't take. Turn you can't take two turn off, off to, to not yeah to I know. make your other dudes. And out. I guess it's you just, just play slow. this guy instead, and it's yeah. just favorable yeah, winds it, with yeah. on a body. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever, Rob. Iron root warlord. I am Groot warlord. I am Groot warlord. That's actually pretty good. I'm proud of you. Ah. X five for three mana. Power equals the number of creatures you control, so it's always a one five at least. And then five mana to make a one one soldier. Yeah, I one five for three is actually not bad, and it only gets better based on your creature. Isn't Shauna just better? I mean, five. <sighs> let's let's say like this one's a mana. Yeah, save, but you but don't have to only choose mana, one. Five. But you can you can play more than one. True. Yeah, that's true. Different you got way. Mama Mia. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're gonna Kalia Zenith Seeker three three for Mardu. Flying Vigilance 3-3, three, three, that's, that's a good deal. I'm blown dude. away that this wasn't your first article. This is like Niv-Mizzet Light. I'm not, I'm not, I'll just write about it this week, bro. Okay, deal. I actually don't have an article topic for this week yet, so this will, I could see that. It's this. When Kalia Zenith Seeker enters the battlefield, look at the top six cards of your library. It's not ten, but it's fine. You may reveal an angel card, a demon card, and or a dragon card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's under the battlefield, too. You don't have to connect. You don't have to attack with it. Three manas, Mardu colors. This seems like it should be bigger than a 3-3. Three, three. As a commander player, I think this card is ultra poop. Um, as a commander player, yeah, it makes sense because you're playing a 100-card deck. Yeah. And you get to look at six cards. So it's not... That three mana, Cossus's dude is a demon, I believe. Cossus's? The Cossus's dude's a demon. Yeah. What's another good demon? It's there. Doom, Doom Whisper. Uh, the, the other one that costs... Three mana, but it's like a six six, I think. She does not strike me as a human cleric. Is she an angel? Oh, she's like a demon angel. No, nope, she's just a human cleric. But she has demon wings and angel wings in this picture. Mm -mm. Is she just cosplaying? Yep. That's it. Okay. My only problem is that how many demons, dragons, and angels, which are historically heavily costed, do you need in your deck to Ch hit changelings? Any number of them. You're in the wrong format. Changelings. Oh yeah. But see that's the thing. I was like, oh yeah, you can play change. <coughs> is that how you felt? I was like, oh, wait, but they're not legal and standard. That's I keep forgetting. Um, I'm talking about the, the three mana. Uh, it, maybe it's a four four flyer with flyer that gets bigger whenever they have 10 or life, less life. Whatever. Kethis, the hidden hand. Abzan for a three four. What are you going to say? Go ahead, say it. Keithis. Is it Keithis? It's Keithis. You don't know, man. You're just saying. You just <laughs> get this. The Hidden Hand, Elf Advisor, 3-4. Legendary spells you cast cost one less to cast. Uh, exile two legendary cards from your graveyard. Okay, I will do that. Until the end of the turn, each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card. So you have to have at least three legendary cards in your graveyard for this to be good. And then you get to Spaghetti Toucher, that's what I was thinking. Yes, the card is Spawn of Mayhem. I absolutely do not think this card is bad. This is another card you could write your article about. Anthony Keithis? Anthony Keithis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fly it's, it's away Shithis. on my Zephyr. All right, so I think this card's fine. This card seems really good. They're le like this This affects your planeswalkers. You can cast planeswalkers from the graveyard. 
Yeah, you're right, I guess. This card seems pretty good. You also cast them for, the, for your hand. Yeah, for one less. Right. All those sweet two, three mana cards that everyone hates on for two mana. This feels like they thought Brawl was really going to be a thing when designing. Take it easy. Take Sorry. It easy. Take it easy. This card seems really good to me. I think it's fine. I don't think it's bad for 30 anything. to 2. I feel like they're trying to finish off some kind of like... Uh, every time I see this, I just feel like it's a Leovold slash Edric. Yeah. Uh, you're just making all these elf advisors. That uh, are three mana. That these like aristocratic elf advisors that are three mana that do really cool shit. Let me scribble it on my paper. I like it. I like this like elf high council that they're making. I think they're all cool. Kaikar wins fury. Kaikar. Bird whiz. Kicker. Uh, three, three, four, four, flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a one, one white spirit token with flying. This card seems fantastic. That is a hilarious way to put it. I feel like I feel like these are rejected Commander 2019 cards. That that actually sounds pretty relevant. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But on the other hand, like I think they're trying to include cards from all things. Like we've seen modern cards in here. We've seen legacy cards in here. Like we've seen Commander cards in here. Like I think sets in general, specifically core sets, even. Uh, are all looking to have a little bit of everything. Like, not every set is just for standard. So, like, they don't have to be See you later, Tuna. rejects just to... Uh, Undrub Tuna, have a good afternoon, buddy. Don't stop swimming. Don't stop. Then you'll drown. Like a shark. What do you think of this card? Good? I think it's good. Four mana is too expensive. Four mana is too much. Okay, is the is the Sacrifice of Spirit ability relevant? Not super relevant. Right, so Making what, the one you already relevant. have Murmuring Mystic. Which is technically better, in my it's opinion, because it's a five butt. This is a 33 flyer. This has evasion. This is a threat. Yeah. Plus, it's making flyers. True. <laughs> no, the other one makes flyers, too. I was going to say, it makes birds. I know. You didn't burb. 2-2 two, two flying haste This for card's two. good. This card is good. This card makes Adelie's possibly playable. This might be... Oh, it's a whiz. Easy. It's an elemental whiz. Yeah. Elemental whiz. Oh, I like it because it fits in the elementals and the wizards. Wow, this is nice. That's that's elegant. Elemental whiz. It's just so simple. It's just a 2-2 two, two for four with haste. Yeah, but it I has like haste. It. Like, it just... It hits. I like it. It hits. <laughs> Molder Vine Reclamation. Five mana for whenever a creature you control dies, you gain a life draw card. It's a bit much. You're asking a lot here. Should be three. Is this um is this Arthas from, from World of Warcraft on here? I don't play that. I know. Ogre Siegebreaker. Four mana for a 4-3. This card sucks. Adelise gets a buddy three months before rotation. Right, again, sad sad days. Destroy a creature that was dealt damage this turn. That's You're asking a lot here. Omnath, Locus of the Royal Ooh, we're coming upon my, my good buddy. This one? No, we're okay. coming upon it. We're not on it. I, I would have said we're on my good buddy. buddy is. You, you, I thought your buddy you was know. Soren. That's my, that's, a, that's my spoiler. It doesn't make sense to me with my buddy. When Omnath Locus of the Royal enters the battlefield, he deals damage equal to to any target equals the number of elementals you control. This is their elemental leader. It's a flame tongue Kavu. Three three four four is great. Whenever a land, it's not great. It's it's not. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's not. Great I don't have no it's idea fine. why you said that. It's fine. It's meh. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on target elemental you control. If you control eight or more lands, draw a card. I don't think this is any good. I think it's good in the elemental deck for sure. We've yet to see the. So I'm deck. saying I was saying three three four four is a good rate on a one seven six creature. That's what I was trying. That's what I was thinking. On a one seven six, isn't that what they're called? One eight six. One eight one seven six. I don't know what the hell you're saying. Frank loses a point for that. Twenty nine to two. One seven six creature. Is that what it's called? Sounds like a zip code. It's the um. It's the one eight seven. One eight seven creature. That's what it is. Uh, one eight seven is the police. Uh, the the police code for murder. If you have a code 187, uh, it's a crime of murder. So you call these creatures like Flame Tongue Kavus, Ravenous Chupacabras. Um, you call them... Don't touch it. You call them 187, 187 creatures because when they come in, they kill something. Okay. So... It took a long time to explain that. Typically, well, that's a story. I'm telling the story. It was a decent story. So you have a Flame Tongue Kavus, right? And that's a 4-2 for 4. This is a 3-3 three, three for 4. So, uh, you know, Shriek Maw is a 3-2 for 5. So, like... When you're talking about a card that's coming to play and killing something else, okay, and so it's also any target, so you can actually take out a Tefri, planes walk, take out right. Mm -hmm. So a three three for four, in that context, is actually just fine. So when we saw this, you said in the elemental deck, this could be good, right? Right, common sense, correct, because it's basically the elemental lord. The problem is we continue to see cards and go in the elemental deck. This could be good, right? But eventually, when you have we enough have, of those what cards, have we seen, but what have we seen that says okay, there's an, uh, there is an elemental deck? Well, I haven't added them up, but I think there's an. I've seen. I feel like I've said it enough. Plus, I don't know what elementals are already existing in standard before this, so I don't know. It's worth looking at, right? Like, I'm gonna say, like, if there's an elemental deck, like this is another this is another piece of that puzzle. So, teamer is a trap. 
or trap. Teamer has always been a trap. Seems win more? Or how does this seem win more? I don't think this is a win. This is definitely not a win more card at all. By definition, this is not a win more card. Like that's the same. Flint Tongue Kavu is a win more card. Like it comes yeah. into play and you just ah, oh, you get to kill a creature. But, Sounds effective. You know, I already got a four two. I'm good. Risen Reef, three mana for a one one. Whenever it, or another uh, here, look an elemental card. Whenever it or another elemental enters the battlefield, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you may put it on the battlefield tapped. If you don't put the card onto the battlefield. Put in, this is just basically a coiling oracle that makes all your other elementals coiling oracles as well, which is actually pretty nuts. So this is the most important card in the entire elemental. This deck. is an engine. It, yes, this this is the card that if it's good enough, it makes an actual deck right here. This Everything is an, else this is, is just, an element engine, is if element, you will. Sure. This so card. so this triggers twice off of Chandra. Oh, because of the counter, you play this on three, and then you play Chandra on four to make two one ones, and yep. then you have. Yep. You get to either draw two cards or put two lands into play. Yep. Or some combination of. Wow, that's great. Yep. Doesn't say non-token. Nope. Wow. So we're getting here. We're getting here. Yep. Sky Knight Vanguard, one, two for two. Very similar to two, two for two. Flying. When it attacks, create a one, one soldier. That's, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty that's good. pretty good. This might be the best uncommon of all of them so far because it's like, as far as the, the two mana ones, um, just making free one ones just because you just by attacking with an evasive one, two is pretty good. Tome Bound Lich, one three for three, Death Touch, Life Link. So okay. wait, are the allied colors three mana and the the enemy colors two mana? So, well, oh, that's an enemy color three mana. Okay. But like, then you have. Ah, maybe there's. We're no, not helping. Yeah. All right. Maybe there's no. So it's getting worse. You're about to lose a point. Anyway, one three Death Touch, Life Link for three. It's basically a a tiny vampire nighthawk. Whenever it enters the battlefield or does combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. This guy seems fine. Hmm. I mean, it kills anything with an ability to loot. Anything it touches. And it like comes into play with a loot, which is actually <clears throat> pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Pitch a land, get a draw card. Living Twister is an element. Oh, here's Yarok. Here's Yarok. Is this your card? Yeah, it's Saltai. Look at this. 3-5 Saltai Death Touch Lifelink, man. That's all I've ever wanted. So it's just a double, double whatchamacallit. It's not that great. What? It's not that great. It's just a double harmonicon, or it's just a harmonicon. You better, you're about to cut me out, aren't you? All right, all right. So Yarok seems pretty good. <laughs> all right, fine. Dang. All right, all right. Yeah, I like this card. I think it's super cool. Oh, it's also an elemental. Unfortunately. It's Sultai. I mean, you gotta splash the black. I could, I could see splashing a black for this guy. I think it deserved a bit more time. Tonebound Lich. He because he's obsessed with a reanimator deck, and that allows him to discard a card on three. Oh, that's literally why. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> oh, Rien, Rien of Tarth. Re Rihanna, Angel of Rebirth. Uh, five four for five. Okay. Flying. Other multicolor creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Oh. Whenever another multicolor creature you control dies, returns to its owner's hand. Jesus. This could this could say this, seems strong. It, this should say return to the battlefield. Oh yeah, you can play oh Hydroid Crassus with this. Um this is not an interest no, the Hydroid Crassus doesn't work. work with this. Mm -hmm. Hydroid Crassus does not have an enters the battlefield trigger, it has a cast, cast. trigger. Yeah. Uh it would work with Chupacabra. This card should say it comes back to the battlefield. This is card two eighty one out of two eighty, so it is the Biobox promo though, yeah. keep in mind. So, I don't know. It's not a card I care about. It's not a Nexus of Fate for any... <laughs> Wooly Flocktar. For, by, any, by any stretch of the imagination. But now we have the gold cards. 2-1 um, first strike flying for 4 mana, huh? That sucks. Well, it's a cutie, but that's about it. It's hardly a cutie, too. Wow, that's rude. I like this card, though. This card's pretty sweet. Bag of Holding. 1 mana. Whenever you discard a card, exile a card from your graveyard. 2 and a tap. Draw a card, then discard a card. So we're going to loot for 2 mana. Four mana, sacrifice it, return all cards exiled with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. So, like, you play this on one, and then their thoughts... Exile card? Or Thought whatever. Erasure? Thought Erasure, yeah. Uh, gets, a lot, gets a lot worse. Yeah, I like this card a lot. I These don't are think the it's brown really cards, playable. not the gold. What did I say? Did I say gold? You said gold, yeah. Shut up. I hate all of you. Colossal Hammer, one mana. He only, uh, he only hates one of you. And it's you. Me? No, it's him. Okay, I thought so. You. Got him. Equip creature gets plus 10, plus 10, and loses flying. Equip it cost 8. Obviously, there's been a ton of people talking about this, like, Sigarda's Aid or Pure Steel Paladin, um, which is fine. I mean, I'd love to. I love that that's an option. I don't think it's going to be Tier 1, obviously. But, like, it is an option. You play this in your deck. It costs 1 mana. If you can equip it to a guy, 
Colossus, not Colossal. Oh, it's Colossus Hammer. It's not Colossal Hammer. That's a good point. I mean, not relevant, but good point nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I think the card's fine. Like, I like that it exists. It's a card that I like that it exists. If you can Sigarda as eight onto an infant creature, that's cool. The problem is that, like, now you're adding equipment and white cards. I love the fact that it makes it lose flying. <laughs> that's awesome. It's heavy, dude. Yeah. Diamond Knight, three mana for a 1-1. One, one. Vigilance. Okay. Elena Danner. Man, Elena Danner is the best, dude. This should cost two. Uh, as Diamond Knight enters the battlefield, choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Diamond Knight. Yeah, it should cost two. I agree with you. Yeah. If this costs two, I think it would be playable. Diviner's Lockbox, four mana. One and a tap, choose a card name, then reveal the top card of your library. If that card has the chosen name, sacrifice this and draw three cards. Would this be playable if it costs one? Four, four mana for this? Yeah. Oh, God. So, like, at best, your best your best case scenario, you're paying five mana to draw three cards. Which there are cards that literally do that without all the, the rigmarole and, and, and drama of having to, like hope you hit is it playable if it costs one and one to activate maybe because then you can scry on like turn two and like you know have like yeah maybe but i mean like the fact that it's four mana and not even two mana or three mana like yeah, okay bye at best this is tidings. no tidings draws you four cards this draws you three cards what's the casting cost and stats of diamond mirror diamond mirror costs two and it's a one three yes rob, rob one elk tier zero GTFOH. Oh, man. I only know that because I played Diamond Mare. Yeah, Diamond Mare was playable. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could play it against the Red Dead, gain life, like, yeah. whatever. Golos Tireless Pilgrim. I think Mike was excited about this guy for Commander. Five yeah. mana. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land card, put that on the battlefield, tapped, and then shuffle your library. Again, worth noting it's any land, not a... Not yeah, a basic not land. A ba not a basic, yeah. You can find a dual land, a fetch land, a shock land, a prismatic vista, whatever you guys want. Dark Depths. This could be a legacy playable in, 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 in Hex Mage. No, nope, you're right. Nope. <laughs> and then for seven mana, exile the top three cards of your library. We play them this turn without paying their mana cost. If you can afford this, it's actually pretty good. If you can, aff <laughs> if you can afford this. You get three free spells for seven mana. Well, like I mean, if you could afford Omniscience, it's pretty good too. But you need cards to have with Omniscience. The problem is, like, Omniscience on turn 8 or 10 or whatever. You need thing cards costs. that... Well, you need you castle don't. cards. In your deck. What's How's that different from Omniscience? Because they have to be in your hand. You could have no cards in hand. No resources. Cards in hand are resources. Omniscience requires you to play, be able to play an 8-mana spell and still have resources in your hand. Okay, what if we put Omniscience on top? Okay. That's what chat said. I just want to see what your reaction was. I wanted to... If it was good, I was going to take it for myself. <laughs> That was what Chad said, though, not me. That thought never crossed my mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this card is interesting. I don't know if it's, like, standard playable. No uh, one can afford a five-color mana base. Only Ali Iantrazi can afford a five-color mana base. Really? I mean, I've had some luck with Niv Mizzet, and so other people. So. Yeah, that's true. Niv Mizzet, yeah. You can just play Niv Mizzet in this. I mean, like, uh, yeah, but, I mean, you're, like, you're not going to hit Golos with your Niv Mizzet. Whatever. It's, I think it's, this card is super interesting. It's a 3-5 five for 5 that ramps you or puts a, any color land into play. It's got a really it, powerful ability. This should cost ability. 4. This should be solemn. This should cost 4. No, that's too good. Activation costs the same. That's too good. 4 mana, get a, get a land. Oh, because it's it's not a basic. It's, a th it's also a 3-5 instead yeah. of a 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. That's a significant power difference. 2-2. Two, two. I know. Graft Digger's Cage. We all know Graft Digger's Cage. Thank God. Again, might not, uh, might not see standard play for obvious reasons, but it's nice to have it back and... Have, have more copies of it floating around. Heart Piercer Bow. This is a card that uh, that you can search for with the, the the blue guy. I forgot his name. But uh, yeah, it's whenever a equipped creature attacks, it deals one damage to target creature defending player controls. Not super exciting, but it's a, it's a free equipment if you're in that deck. Uh, Icon. This card's really good. Of Ancestry, three mana. As under the battlefield, choose, choose a creature type. Yeah, it's basically just a, it's a... What's the word I'm looking for? An anthem effect for specific creatures? Just much better. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. But then you can look at the top three cards and you can reveal a creature card of the chosen type and put it in your hand. So it's it's a nice way to refill. Yeah, that's really um, good. Like if you if you have the elemental deck, you can play this and then just... Or elves. Pay three they, at the end of their turn mana. if you have nothing to do and get an elemental, you know? It's, this card is really good across multiple formats. Right. Because like previously, you would just pay three mana to give plus one, plus one to your guys. Now you're giving plus one, plus one to your guys and you're able to find it. <laughs> 
Manifold key. This card's great too. Literally voltaic, voltaic key upgrade. Better. For one mana, you have one in a tap to untap another target artifact. That's basically voltaic key. This card's awesome. But then you also have target creature can't be blocked this turn, so you can just. You can make some serious mana with this in the, uh, and then, the mana rocks that add mana equal to the number that you have. And then make your uh, Blightstone Colossus unblockable. I was talking about the standard. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about that. Marauders. Oh, the uh, Power Stone shards? Power Stone shard. <laughs> Marauders Axe plus two plus oh. Of course it'll see vintage play. Me yeah, it's literally it's better. It's literally, literally than, better than Voltaic -y. Right. And you could just play both now. Meteor Golem, mm. seven mana. This card, I actually like this card a lot. This card is always versatile. Especially you can with play Karn. it in, yeah. You can play it in decks that don't uh, have access to this kind of effect. It just destroys any non-land permanent planeswalker enchantment artifact. It's just great. Like they got some cool new art though. Having a black a black card that can just deal with <laughs> enchantments or artifacts is very very good. So. MVP to your golem. <laughs> That's good. That's what I call I call Rob my little Petier. Mystic Forge four mana. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. This card's sick. You may cast the top card of your library. It's an artifact card or colorless non-land card. Pay a oh, life and tap it. Excel the top card. This card seems... Look at how much those are. Because if that's less than five bucks, I'm going to buy a set of four. This card seems ridiculous in vintage. Mystic Forge. MTG. Nope, that's Scryfall. Uh, here we go. Please be three. Dollar eighty eight. Oh, I want to buy four. Well, four? I, I'm going to buy four. I'm going to buy four of them. I'm going to serious them. Pat yeah, I believe you because that's cheap. Seriously, I'm serious. I'm going to buy four. Yeah, man, I get that. I thought you were going to be like, I'm going to buy 40 and then I'm going to sit on them. Like, I'd be, okay, cool. That makes sense. But if you're going to you're gonna buy a whole play set I don't have of a rare and a... And I'm going to leave. Okay. <laughs> so you buy 20. That's what I'm talking about. Pattern Matcher, four mana for a three three. Four mana for a three three is a good rate. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> when Pattern Matcher enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card with the same name as another creature you control. Or reel it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Could be great. Could be terrible. Sounds bad. Yeah, I mean, it can't find another one of itself, which is the big problem. Like if this if this is any creature you control, like it forces you to have another creature in play and also have another copy of that creature in your deck. Actually. Now that I've seen... I've never actually seen this card. Okay. So this actually is an extra um, infinite piece to in order to get your... The the artifact that goes infinite with itself. There's an artifact that when it enters the battlefield, it returns another one a historic permanent to your hand. There's a way to go infinite. I'm trying to remember what it was. It's something to Koilos. Is it Guardians of Koilos? Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's a oh, fifth one. Oh, it's your one. second Guardian. Yeah, that's a fifth one. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Hell Giant that sometimes might do a thing. What's going on here? This is a good pace for a server. You don't like some other... Oh, yeah, because I'm like, oh, Prismite. Well, that's cool that we just saw this. Yeah, in. we don't need to have a yeah, discussion. I'm like, we don't have to talk about Prismite. It's never going to see standard play. Stupid Prismites. Retributive Wand. Three mana. Retributive Wand does one damage to any target. Okay, fine. That's that's good. Usually it's target player or target planeswalker. When it is put into the graveyard, it deals five damage to any target. This card's interesting because of Shrapnel Blast. Mm-hmm. So it's just literally combos with Shrapnel Blast to deal 10 damage, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. But also there's a ton of things that, like, sacrifice artifacts. <laughs> Look at your teeth. Yes. Look at your teeth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hold on. That's awesome. Hold on. You know what's better than some other set reviews? Photos like that. This is what was just shown to Photo us. <laughs> Put it above our heads. Just leave it up there. Look at what's wrong with your face. Uh, it's probably screenshotted. So I was like, the, like every you can't screenshot someone at any point in time without it being super derpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. There you go. That's good. That's good. This <laughs> is an Eldritch. This is an Eldritch nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord okay anyway back to retribution wand the card seems interesting the fact that it can deal one damage to any target is is a selling point for me and uh and five damage to any target it's not that's target a player. lot right so like and if there's just cards that let you sack an artifact or you know whatever up. then like it's just it's standard it's just nice to be able to have that kind of ability salvager of ruin three mana for a two one sacrifice it choose a permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn returns to your hand that's cute. Mm. It's it's literally the white cardigan kind of, except it goes to your hand. It's a white cardigan. The, it's like a white cardigan. Yeah, it's uh, you know, uh, like a white cardigan. I don't know. 
Would this be broken at two? <laughs> is this too strong at two mana? No, this, this card's not good. Actually, you know what? In an artifact-based deck, that could be pretty good. Hey, is this card good at two mana? No, this card's not good. Okay, so well, wait, that's not what I'm asking. So but... if we, hold on. If I, so if I find a way to sacrifice an artifact that's uh -huh. good... And then you can just get it. Then you get, get back. back the five the five damage thing. I mean, I feel like five damage is just a lot, right? Heck yeah, it's a lot. Okay, take it easy, buddy. Heck no. Okay, don't take it easy. If we go back to what if we go back to Mirrodin, in the next like couple sets, and uh, we actually get a Shrapnel Blast reprint, and then the Shrapnel Blast and and Retribute Retributive Wander in the same set. Anyway, I want to keep going, man. Scuttlemutt, add a man of any one color. Target creature becomes the color of your choice until end of turn. This is a reprint two two for three. This is from like Lorwyn Block. Scuttlemutt. It's not gonna see you. Steel Overseer is a very interesting reprint. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, Steel Overseer is an extremely powerful two mana artifact. Uh, works pretty good with uh, Sahili. Yeah, you're all, oh, that's nice. I like that. I have to. I need to tell you something. Mirrodin is gone. Oh, oh. Jokes on you. Nothing ever dies. Nothing ever stays dead in lore. Um, yeah, this card. I don't know. This is probably gonna see some niche play in standard, um, but. Even if it doesn't, like, it's just a reprint for, like, you know, modern and legacy and things like that. There's nothing that sacrifices artifacts in standard right Stone now. Golem, 4 4 for 5. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Vial of Dragonfire. This what is, is this the do? other half. Uh, two mana for the artifact, and then two and an activate to deal two damage to a target creature. It's a four mana shock, uh, which is a pretty good rate <laughs> uh, for a shock. I think if you're ever like, hey, can I play shock, but then spend three extra mana on it? Um,. I would prefer that then then this is a card for you so definitely check this definitely check this card out blood fell caves okay so the next now we're in the lands i put all these five together one two three four five depending on the format <clears throat> depending on how the format looks these cards have all seen play um the two the the dual lands that just enter the battlefield tap but had that, that gain you life incrementally um they've all seen some amount of play so don't dismiss these just because they're common dual lands. Like sometimes you just need more copies of dual lands. Currently we do have the four check lands, like Glacial Fortress, Hinton and Arbor. Yeah, those are called check lands, right? Mm -hmm, I guess. And you have f the, the the shock lands, right? So you have ten shock lands and ten. Yeah, guild gates also see some play. So like if you're gonna play a guild gate and it's not it's, a gate centric better. deck, this yeah. is just better. You're just gaining. If you have a, a deck and you're gaining an extra three, two or three life in a game, it's could be relevant. Could be relevant. So, anyway, Scoured Barrens, Swiftwater Cliffs, Thornwood Falls, Tranquil Cove, Windscarred Crag, all ten of them are here. I wasn't saying there's nothing that sacrifices artifacts. I, it's it's not a. If you're looking for to play that in a deck, it, you want something that costs one that sits on the battlefield and does something. I mean, the only one that's close is make, play, makeshift munitions. What if you play a bunch of them and then you just play Bontu and then sack both of them? That's what they time? said. I know, that's where I got the idea. Uh, I was going to take it, and then if it was good, I was going to keep it. I, I don't think it's any good. Cryptic Caves. Add a colorless, literal colorless. One and a tap. Sacrifice a draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. Not the bad. Not the bad. Not the bad. This card isn't bad, actually, and it reminds me of a colorless version of, like, Horizon Canopy and all those lands. Oh, interesting. That's um, funny to say. Really? Why? I don't. I never thought of it that way, but I mean, it's. I mean, it's the land that draws your card. Yeah, it's pretty good. You just the, instead of having a color restriction, you have a uh, number of land restriction, which is totally fine. Um, I mean, you know, if you have six, seven, eight lands and you just want to draw a card, like here you go. Plus, you're not taking damage, so not bad. Evolving Wilds. It's no prismatic vista, that's for sure. It's prismatic poopy. Field of the Dead. <clears throat> Enters the battlefield tapped. Add a colorless. Whenever this or another land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. This guy actually seems great. I thought this card was great until I reread it and realized you have to have seven lands, different lands. with different names. I think that's, that's not easy. I think it's I think it's easier than you think if you try. Because this is going to be your seventh, right? So you have to have six other lands like Forest, Hinterland Harbor, Overgrown Tomb, Breeding, Breeding Pool, Pools, Island, um, and. I don't know, name one of the other ones, I guess. Watery Grave. Yeah, like, I mean, it's not... I don't think it's that hard to do. Or you could just scape shift out and get seven different lands. Yes, scape shift. God, correct. scape shift is bonkers in this format. I know. All of a sudden, man... How much are scape shifts? Oh, God, let's find out. Because if they're $1.81, I'm buying four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy one whole place. I'm going to buy one whole play set, guys. I, I spelt a cape shift, but uh, I thought it would come up anyway, but it did not correct me, so... $10. That's going to be a no from me, dog. 
Guess who's not playing Escape Shift in New Standard? How do you feel about Lotus Field? I like this card a lot. Uh, everyone says it's busted. I don't know if it's... I mean, it has to... You have to make it busted, right? Yeah. Like, you're not going to just play this on three and have it be busted. You need something that untaps your lands or... Well, if you have Teferi and you have two of these, being able to untap them both and uh, at the end of your turn and have six mana open instead of two, that's pretty good. Combo is really good with brought back. It does. It does. Kiora untaps too. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, Kiora does, yeah. Yeah, I think Lotus Field is... See, Lotus Field is just broken enough because the reason... Like, you're not losing any value by playing it. Like, it comes into play tapped. You have to sacrifice two lands, but it has Hexproof for your kind of safe. Um, so, like, you can just kind of do your normal thing. Play a land, play a land, play a land. With no real cost to you for playing this card. And it just kind of rewards you for that. It's not like you're building around it. It's not like you're making sacrifices. Your cost is you can't you can't play it until turn three. Right, but that's not really a cost because it's not. It's it is not, a cost because what if you open your hand and you have one land in this card? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like in terms cost. of like your mana base. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's fine. I still I accept that cost. I think the card is great. I accept that cost. Also, off color temples are also in the set: Temple of Epiphany, Temple of Malady, These are sweet. Temple of Mystery, Temple of Silence, and Temple of Triumph. The Scrylands were fantastic. I raved about them when they first came out, and I, I will never forget the comments from people being like, these are just terrible. These are never going to see play. And then they were ubiquitous. They were everywhere. Everyone was playing the temples, and they're fantastic. So if you have a choice between the life gain lands or the temples, probably play the temples. Scry 1 is significantly stronger than gain 1 life. You look like Hodor. That's weird. Second time someone's made that that reference. Seriously, it's I don't literally see it at all. because yeah, they, they, because I have no because except for the fact that I have a beard and gray hair, like that's pretty much the only, um, the only like, what's the word you're looking for? Uh, Res resemblance. Resemblance. There you go. I knew it was an re something. Re oh, and that's the end. That was the last card. All right, see you guys. Seems good. Temples are great. Wish we had the full cycle. We don't have. We do, don't we? Do we not have? Do we not have an allied colored temples? No, they don't exist. I don't think they exist. No, they don't exist. What? Yeah, they do. Temple of Abandon. Temple of Deceit. They, they Temple exist. of Lightness. <laughs> Temple of Malice. We don't have them. You can't put all ten in, in the same set. Watch me. Like, that's that's ridiculous. Like, I mean, maybe Hold we can get them later, but I mean, there's no... Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the set review. Let me know what some of your favorite cards are. Some of the things we may have gotten wrong. Some of the things we may have gotten right. Definitely leave those in the comments. Slam those like and subscribe buttons for sure. You can check out manatraders.com. They have a great service that Rob has actually been using for like 13 months. 18. 18 I'm months. 18 months. And uh, you can get 20% off your first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in the description. So definitely check that out. You can go to coolstuffinc.com. You'll get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. Definitely check out uh them every wednesday i have new articles going up and uh thanks for watching guys definitely let us know what you think love to hear your thoughts and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye really appreciate it